This is a very exciting week because I have been planning my sister's hem party with my mum for this weekend and I can't believe it's finally here. I've got so much to do for it, like the amount of prep is a lot. But yeah, I'm hoping this week's vlog will be a nice little look at everything I'm planning for her hen party. I'll give you like a tour of where we're staying for it. And if you guys are ever going to be in need of like planning ahead, and hopefully this will include some nice ideas for you guys. Yeah, I've got tomorrow to bake some peanut shaped cookies, biscuits, <laughs> some vegan ones as well because we've got two vegan people coming to the hen. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And then today is just like a day of deliveries and I really hope everything comes in time because yeah, there's been a lot. I'll show you everything I've got for it so far. So I quickly wanted to show you this and film a little reel with this as well um i've got a couple of weddings coming up but there's one in august that i kind of just wanted a new dress for so i ordered two dresses from zara and i thought i'd try them on now first up this gorgeous kind of baby pink satin i do hope my boobs are going to fit in this and then also this really I don't know, I thought this looked more red on the website, but it's more of a hot pink in real life. Kind of like crochet knit dress. So I'm going to try both of these on. Um, this has already got a little snag in it, which is not ideal, but I guess that happens with that kind of fabric. Yeah, I'm going to try these on and film some content with them. Also listening to a lot of My Favourite Murder again recently, I'm like trying to catch up. So I'm currently on 328. Okay, first dress is an absolute fail. And that is because I have boobs. And I have seen people talking about how Zara aren't a fan of big boobs this season. Um, oh, it's such a shame because I love this dress. I love the kind of shape of it. I love the color. I love the fabric and the back is Stunning. I love that you can see my big scar down the side and on the back, but if I move an inch, my boobs fall out. <laughs> Is it in full? Yeah, I just think the, oh god, the proportions are all off. Like, I've got quite, I don't know, I thought I had quite a long torso and quite short legs, but um, I need an even longer torso, I think, for this. But even then, like, I can't seem to get this up higher and it doesn't fit my boobs anyway so if you've got small boobs you are in luck because this will suit you gorgeously but yeah unfortunately I would not be able to wear this out of the house because the slightest movement my nipples are out. So this is the second dress, this is much more successful but <laughs> it's too big on me which again doesn't make sense. So this is a small and normally that is quite tight for me on Zara but this, yeah this sizing is a lot bigger so I would have to size down in this. Um, the other dress was a small as well just FYI. Um, I don't know what to think about this, I don't think it's right. I feel like a bit of a milkmaid. But this also comes in a white shade, which again is gorgeous for summer, but not if you're attending a wedding. I really like this kind of neck detail, I love the big sleeves, and I love the low back. But yeah, I would need to try it in a size down, I think, in order to see if it actually suits. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. I think the colour's really nice on... I mean, it makes me look very pale, but I, I don't mind that. Just made myself a cup of tea, and I thought I'd show you some of the things that have come already for the hen party. So, first of all, we have balloons. We've got helium um, canister that my mum has as well, so just some team bride balloons. I <laughs> made these tattoos for my sister. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. Um, Becky's hen, she's got her and her fiance's face on. I'm so excited, I'm gonna cut those up and give one to each of the girls. I ordered these from Etsy. A lot of places were like small business on eBay or Etsy, which I really like. This is not part of the hem, but I think in the last vlog I mentioned that I ordered a brow lamination kit for home and it arrived. Sassy Saints. I'm gonna try this out and do some content on it, but this is what it looks like. I am, yeah, <laughs> nervous to, um, laminate my own brows at home but if it if it's a good review then that like yeah might help some of you guys um there's loads more hen party stuff upstairs so i'll have to take you up there to see the rest of it 
I feel like I've done my neck in as well somehow today. Really, really painful. I ran down the stairs earlier to get the door and it, something just went, <laughs> which is really painful. I just had one of these for lunch. It was very nice. Um, did I mention that I've done my neck in? Because, oh my God, it's so painful to turn my head right now. I've got cat hair in my eye too. Yeah, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to take some painkillers, but I don't know what I did. <laughs> it's just a symptom of getting old. I just received a present in the post. I'm gonna try and do this without moving my neck. Yeah, G yesterday said that he'd bought me a present and that it was arriving today. And I think it's just arrived and it's huge. I think it's for my office. Um, I've been really in the mood to sort it out recently and make it lovely and I've got no plants up there currently um, So I think he's bought me one which is really nice. Ow. I'll open it now Oh wow Oh, oh. oh my god how gorgeous that's so nice. How nice is this? Ignore my makeup on the floor. Um, this is an Aspidistra castor iron plant and it is non-toxic to pets. Gorgeous. And then this huge like concrete vase stand, which is beautiful. I absolutely love that. For dinner this evening, I've made a prawn and courgette spaghetti ignore that whirring electronic sound in the background that's my like retainer cleaning device um look how good this looks got the doors open as well maurice is having a run around it's thursday and i'm about to start baking my biscuits for my sister's hen party so part of the hen party we've got we've got like a little small sections of gaps between like the bigger events and like things we've got planned so I thought we could do some biscuit um icing for if anyone wants to ice some biscuits I specifically ordered peanut shaped cookie cutters and they just arrived and they're so small <laughs> I thought they were going to be a bit bigger than that but it's still going to work a treat I'm going to make some vegan biscuits and some normal biscuits I've, I don't think I can't even remember the last time I made biscuits it must have been back in like 2013 14 and they were disastrous because the oven I had back then would like it just burn everything but this oven's so much better I've got my mixing bowl out I've got some vegan butter margarine stuff and I'll start with the vegan first because I yeah, I don't want to like contaminate things. So we need 100 grams of vegan, oh, it had a bit of paper on it, yeah. I love baking, I just never do it because it means I have to eat it. And because it's only G and I, there's like no point because we'll just end up eating it all. But it's nice to do if we've got people around. Okay, that's definitely enough Marge. 50 grams of caster sugar a bit extra you know and then stir in the flour and then refrigerate so super super easy i also have some vanilla extract i wonder if that's vegan yeah i think that is vegan i also have these really cool um flavor drops and these are vegan too a brand called skinny food company maybe i'll add a little bit of cinnamon in there too i'm getting too excited i've also got hazelnut praline flavor which is Gluten-free, vegan-friendly, sugar-free. I tell you what, having a mixer, oh my God, is game-changing because that whole process used to take so long. It took like five minutes, so I've got perfectly round, smooth, vegan biscuit dough. So I'm gonna wrap this in cling film, put it in the fridge just to chill down so that I can roll it a bit easier. And then I'm gonna get started on my non-vegan one. Um, I'm so excited about this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh guys, I'm having a mare. I just had to pop to the shop to get some golden syrup <laughs> because um, I didn't have any. And then I've got back home <laughs> and I've cracked an egg on the floor by accident. Maurice is very interested. Oh, what a fail. A cat's allowed to eat raw egg. I don't, I don't even want to risk it. Get away from that. So for my normal biscuits, I've got a bit of paste and I'm actually using a recipe from the Biscuiteers. The Biscuiteers are like one of my favorite biscuit. They taste incredible. And I've never tried their recipe before. Um, but it basically consists of 
um, sugar, self-raising flour and plain flour and then making a well and adding golden syrup and vanilla bean paste into the middle so I, yeah just popped out for the golden syrup and I've got to say this dough is like the most delicious smell oh my god I wish I could wear a perfume that smelled like that it is so delicious so now I'm just going to roll out this cut them I think and then put them in the fridge to harden slightly and then I can put them in the oven and start baking <laughs> have just come out the oven they're looking great the vegan ones were a bit of a fail though but I mean they'll, they'll be fine they just look edible I'm gonna do taste test I'll have a little bit of a burnt one here don't keep my coffee they smell amazing that's really good I really recommend this recipe so much flavor I mean it's just literally just sugar and syrup isn't it but very very delicious um i was gonna i found a company that sell biscuit icing kits for hen parties with this kind of sh cookie cutter penis shape but that it was 50 pounds for like 10 people and i was like i can just make that for myself for a fraction of the cost so um yeah i'm, I'm just about to do my final sheet now Mm. I'm just putting together a little gift box for my sister that I'm going to put on her bed at the hen party. Um, I bought her some like PJs and a veil and a headband and um, a little nice dress to wear on the Saturday if she hasn't got one herself. Yeah, I'm very excited about this. Got a little robe, little bride thing, um, a dress, some nice PJs here with a little headband and a little love heart top as well there so yeah just a nice little gift box full of like clothing items got her sash as well loads of face masks and then basically just loads of like little decoration-y bits taking some pixie face masks as well for the pamper party and the itinerary came as well today which is great so I can show you that now so I created this on Canva this is just a rough one so we've got check-in and on the Friday night we're having a PJ pamper party and a movie night so that's why I got her the pajamas just in case we're having like a picnic afternoon tea and a treasure hunt in the garden on the Saturday Willie surprise is we've got a life drawing class so we're gonna have it in the garden because weather's gonna be nice it's like a private garden so no one will be able to look in but yeah we've got a, um, a woman coming down to teach us how to do life drawing and we've got like a nude male model which will be so funny and um, then I'm gonna set up a bit of a henna bar my sister loves henna in Marrakesh um, biscuit icing station and a cocktail station so it would just be like yeah a couple like an hour or so where we can just like have a drink and have some snacks at 7 p.m we've got dinner they have a butler in the buff coming and a private chef to cook us all dinner for the evening so that'll be really nice and i think the butler in the buff will play some games with us as well 9.30 I've done a Mr and Mrs game like a powerpoint presentation with um, Luke's answers and then we're going to have a karaoke night and then on the Sunday we've got pub lunch booked like a roast dinner which will be so nice so yeah that, that is like an, a rough overview of the weekend there's also some extra little surprises in there that I haven't added onto the itinerary so we're going to be also be doing a bit, little bit of snatch game competition oh, this guy that my sister really fancies that works with my mum um, he's coming to give her a, a strip tease and we've got him a mask to wear so she's not going to know it's him it's going to be hilarious um so yeah it's just going to be like a very very lovely weekend for my sister oh my god my neck is still bad i need my neck to get better oh and then she, it isn't on the itinerary either but on the friday on the saturday night we're going to have a fancy dress Everyone's going to be a fancy dress apart from her and we're all going to dress like Luke, her fiancé. So my mum's got masks with his face. Um, so I need to just get my outfit ready and like pack myself and pack all the extra bits. I can't remember if I showed you the tattoos I ordered. Dickhead hoopla which is going to be so funny. And then just some yeah, little confetti bits. 
yeah i'm gonna pack everything up now and then cook some dinner and then maybe have a bath if i have time to try and help my neck out i also just got like head butted by um my tripod in my office and it really hurts so i think i'm gonna have a bit of a bruise here tomorrow <laughs> um, i've never dropped an egg before <laughs> today i've dropped two eggs on the floor <laughs> What's going on with me? How is that possible? Two eggs in one day. Okay, I'm going to a very good routine at the moment of taking my vitamins every night. So I take my vitamins and my pro prebiotics, probiotics. She's running me a bath because oh, I've just got to wash my hair. Um, yeah, my neck is still so bad, so I just need to chill it out. I'm gonna put some Epsom salts in it. Got, he's made me a glass of wine. I need to wash my hair tomorrow. I've had an Olaplex hair mask in my hair all day today. That's why I've been looking a bit scraggly. But biscuits came out perfectly, guys. They are delicious. Okay, guys. It is Friday and we've just arrived at the amazing place of staying for my sister's hair. And this is a right find. It's gorgeous. So it's in Crowborough near Tunbridge Wells and we've got this whole house for ourselves. There's also an extra cottage which I'll show you attached to it. Um, but yeah, let me give you a little tour of where we're going to be staying. So you come in here, you've got a little staircase up there. Um, the first thing I want to show you is this incredible view. Look at that. The most gorgeous long dining table with a magical piece of art. I actually really like that. Lots of home inspo. And then it kind of turns round to an L-shaped kind of kitchen diner. Huge fireplace. This is so cosy. Really nice long kitchen. And also just the loveliest view. Like, this is absolutely stunning. Then on the other side, we have a little games room, little telly room. We'll be playing some games in here at some point. There's a gorgeous conservatory, which is so nice. I really like these art pieces. I didn't like, I didn't think I'd like stuff like this, but I really do. And I also really like the wood paneling they've done on the wall. I think that's a really nice touch. Kind of makes it feel homely and warm. And then in here is a bedroom. I think this might be my one just because it's the only one downstairs. Um, and the other girls might be too scared to be down here by themselves at night. And then up the stairs, there's a sofa and it's kind of divided into two areas. So down here, we have one bedroom. The ceilings are so high, it's really nice. Um, really cute bathroom, love that another bedroom i really like this room kind of tempted to have this one actually just because it feels quite nice and cozy another one here again love the paneling on the wall it's a nice mirror as well i'm wearing one of g's old shirts today which is a bit random walking down the other end and my sister's room is down here this one oh my god it's got a little balcony it's huge yeah lovely little balcony overlooking the grounds which go on for ages um i also really like this look it's like a sink area in the bedroom and then behind you have a large walk-in shower and toilet and then over here is another two beds and an ensuite as well and now let me take you to the cottage which is also very very cute so you come outside and the cottage is this part it's like you go around the outside and my mum and her bestie are going to be staying in here family friends they get their own little outdoor dining space oh wait how'd you get in i think it's around there really like the outside and how it's all black as well i think that's very cool yeah this is the cottage love again the walls the color of this is so gorgeous um yeah so it's like a whole nother little kitchen it's 
sofa space and then two bedrooms sleeps i think 12 13 14 15 16 people i think it sleeps but i really like this the wood and then that kind of dark blue gray which is very similar to the color we've got in our living room actually mm -hmm. 